हेलो एवरीवन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव स्टडीड द फोर रूल्स ऑफ मिरर इक्वेशन यूजिंग दोज रूल्स नाउ वी कैन डिराइव मिरर इक्वेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डिराइव मिरर इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो वॉट इज मिरर इक्वेशन एंड वॉट इज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस सो दिस मिरर इक्वेशन इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टू मैन्युफैक्चर स्पेरिकल मिरर्स ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर फोकल लेंथ so for our required focal length we can manufacture the mirrors using this mirror equation and this mirror equation is mathematical equation which gives relation between focal length object distance and image distance that is 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v so this is mirror equation so what is what is the significance of mirror equation this mirror equation is very helpful to manufacture spherical mirrors of particular focal length so now you can observe the diagram i am going to consider concave mirror because it gives real and inverted image converging of light takes place for that reason i am going to consider concave mirror if you are going to consider convex mirror again we can get the same result but it is real and convex is virtual now let us consider a concave mirror and this area aperture let us take it as xy xy is aperture of concave mirror the mid the midpoint of concave mirror is pole and it is denoted by p and this is a principal axis which joins pole and center of curvature now i am going to consider an object ab so this object is kept on principal axis you can take this is a candle so candle is our object and i am going to keep it exactly on the principal axis from this object three rays are emitted let us consider three rays are emitting from the object ab and these rays when it falls on concave mirror reflection of light takes place after reflection all the reflected rays are converging at a point now i am going to consider the first incident ray am this ray of light is traveling parallel to principal axis so that reflecting ray is passing through principal focus you can remember this is a first rule whenever the ray of light is traveling parallel to principal axis then reflected ray is passing through principal focus then the second incident ray is ap this is a fourth rule that is whenever the ray of light is directly towards pole obliquely then reflected ray is also oblique with respect to principal axis that's why angles are theta then the third incident ray that is an this ray of light is passing through center of curvature this is a third rule that is whenever the ray of light is passing through center of curvature then reflected ray retraces the same path but in opposite direction am ap and an are incident rays m m dash p p dash and n a dash these three are reflected rays after reflection all these three reflected rays are converging at point a dash b dash now a dash b dash is real and inverted image of object ab ab is in upward direction but the image is formed in a downward direction so we can take it as inverted image and this image is real because converging of light takes place after reflection ab is object a dash b dash is image you can observe the points which are related to ray diagram xy is aperture of concave mirror 
AB is object placed on principal axis. A dash B dash is real and inverted image. AM, AP and AN are incident rays. M, M dash, P, P dash and N, A dash are reflected rays. U indicates object distance that is distance between pole and object. V indicates image distance that is distance between pole and image. F indicates focal length distance between pole and principal focus. R indicates radius of curvature that is distance between pole and center of curvature. Now from the diagram, I am going to consider two similar triangles. So in this ray diagram, A, B, C, A dash, B dash, C. These two are similar triangles so that their sides ratios are always equal. That means A, B divided by A dash, B dash, C, B divided by C, B dash, they are always equal. A, B, C and A dash, B dash, C. These two are similar triangles so that their sides ratios are equal. So we can write from similar triangles A, B, C and A dash, B dash, C. We can write A, B by A dash, B dash equal to C, B divided by C, B dash. Let us take it as equation number 1. Similarly, you can observe one more similar triangle from the diagram. A, B, P. A, B, P and A dash, B dash, P. A, B, P and A dash, B dash, P. These two are again similar triangles so that their sides ratios are again equal. From similar triangles, A, B, P and A dash, B dash, P, we can write that their sides ratios AB divided by A dash B dash PB divided by PB dash these two sides ratios are equal and let us take it as equation number 2. So from equation 1 and 2 you can observe LHS of equation 1 and 2 both are same. So from these two equations we can write CB divided by CB dash equal to PB divided by PB dash. Now, what is CB from the diagram? CB. So, instead of writing CB, I can write the complete length PB minus PC. PB minus PC gives CB value. So, instead of writing CB, we can write PB minus PC. Then, Similarly, CB dash, CB dash, I want this length, CB dash. So, instead of writing CB dash, we can write total length PC minus PB dash. PC minus PB dash gives CB dash. So, instead of writing CB dash, we can write PC minus PB dash. So, now this equation can be written as PB minus PC divided by PC minus PB dash equal to PB divided by PB dash. Now we can apply Cartesian sign conventions. So what is the value of PB? P to B, pole to object. Pole to object is called object distance. So instead of writing PB, we can write U. So whether it is positive or negative, you can observe the ray diagram. The distance we are measuring from pole to object. So this distance is exactly opposite to the direction of incident ray. So these incident rays are traveling in forward direction. But we are measuring in backward direction. So it is against the direction of incident ray. So object distance becomes negative. Instead of writing PB, we can write minus U. Then what is PC from the diagram? Pole to center of curvature. Pole to center of curvature is called radius of curvature and again it is negative because it is opposite to the direction of incident ray. Minus U plus R divided by PC again minus R. What is PB dash? 
pole to image is called image distance and it is denoted by v again this v is a negative because it is opposite to the direction of incident ray so minus and minus minus into minus will be plus so the equation becomes minus u plus r divided by minus r plus v equal to on rhs side you can observe pb pb means minus u divided by pb dash pb dash is minus v now cross multiply these equations minus v into minus u plus r minus u into minus r plus v multiply here so minus into minus will be plus plus u v minus r v equal to minus into minus plus u r minus u v so u v we can take on same side so minus u v will be plus u v so u v plus u v equal to u r so minus r v becomes plus r v now here i am going to divide u v r on both sides u v divided by u v r plus u v divided by u v r equal to u r divided by u v r plus r v divided by u v r now u v will get cancelled remaining is 1 by r plus here also similarly u v will get cancelled again it will be 1 by r equal to on rhs side here u r will get cancelled remaining is 1 by v plus and here u r will v r will get cancelled and the remaining is 1 by u so the equation is 1 by r plus 1 by r equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u or this equation can be written as we can take this term first 1 by u plus 1 by v equal to 1 by r plus 1 by r becomes 2 divided by r so what is 2 by r here we already studied relation between focal length and radius of curvature that is f equal to r by 2 but here we are having 2 by r so reciprocal of 2 by r becomes 1 by f so the final equation is 1 by u plus 1 by v equal to 1 divided by f so this is mirror equation which gives relation between focal length object distance and image distance so this derivation is very important and it carries 5 marks remember first we have to draw a ray diagram then you can go with these steps so the final equation is 1 by u plus 1 by v equal to 1 by f so this this equation we are going to call it as mirror equation